Theo Dodson, creator, Hammer at Tennis. One of the things that we work on here at Hammer at Tennis is understanding how to hit the ball to a target. What you have to understand is in order for the ball to go to a target, the racket needs to travel through contact toward the target. If the racket's traveling a different direction through contact, it's going to be hard to get it to go to your target. We use the doubles line and singles lines a lot of times during our training to help us understand what we call target line. That's the line from us to the target. If my racket doesn't travel down the target line through contact, it's going to be hard to get the ball to go there. The result is an inconsistent shot, a pulled shot, a shank, and a miss hit. If you watch high level players through the contact point, the racket's traveling toward the target. One drill that I use to help students understand this feeling of having the racket swing in a straight line through contact is by using a resistance band. Go up to the net and pick out a line that can represent your target line. Take the resistance band, put it through the net, and then pull it tight. Keep your hands out over the target line. You'll notice how that's out to the right. It's not behind you, it's not straight back like this, it's not way over here, it's out here to the right with the arm slightly bent. Some players prefer a little straight arm, that's okay too. From this position, slowly turn and extend and feel how the resistance band pulls back. If you swing across and off the target line, you'll feel the resistance band bend across your arm. The goal and the key is to keep the resistance band out over the target line so that you're pulling the resistance band down the target line. After you've done this a time or two, put the resistance band on your racket. Put the handle through the throat, pull the band, and then put the grip of the racket through the handle of the resistance band and pull it tight. Once you get the resistance band on the throat of the racket, start with the racket out over your target line. You'll notice how the butt cap of the racket is pointing down the target line. My wrist is bent at a 90 degree angle and my hands are out to the right. I don't have my racket over here. If I did that, it would result in a circular swing through contact. Start with the racket on the target line, pull the grip to contact point. By doing this, you should feel the tension in your wrist and how the racket's ready to leverage into the ball. After you've practiced that for a few times, you can even start with your loop. Start with the racket again out to the right drop it down through and then pull. As you pull the racket, the racket will now be traveling in a straight line toward the target during the contact point. Having your racket travel in a straight line through contact is the key to getting the ball to go in a straight line to your target. For more in-depth lessons, and other things related to tennis, be sure to check out hammerattennis.com.